So you can see I've got a little green square on the screen now. I can jump, just a single jump using the arrow keys, but if I fall off the edge, I can still jump for a split second before I fall down. Let's show you how I did it. So if we go back into the event sheet here, I've got it all mapped out but I'm going to take you through it step by step. So let's go ahead and disable that group so we can redo it again. So the first thing you want to do is create three global variables, one to control the jump strength, one to control whether we are in coyote time or not, and another one, which is a string, which is simply just going to control our previous action. Because what we don't want is to be able to coyote time when we're jumping randomly around just because we're falling or have just fallen off something. So these are going to control whether we can perform that action or not. And the first thing we're going to want to do is add an event that says system. On start a layout, go to the player character. And all I've done is added a platform behavior to the player character. All we're going to want to do is set the jump strength to that jump, that jump strength variable that we created before. And I've set mine to 450. You can set yours to whatever you want. So if I go back and play the game now, we don't have Coyote time on. I've disabled the group. I can move around using the arrow keys and my jump strength is set to 450. However, I cannot jump if I fall off the ledge now. If I get too close to the edge, I just simply fall off despite trying to press the jump button. So that's the first thing we need to do is set that jump strength to always equal the jump strength. Now we need to set a an event that says if we're falling, we can still jump. So let's go ahead and select the player character and come down and we're going to say is falling. Now if we're falling, we need a sub event, which will then detect whether or not we're pressing the jump key. So go ahead and put that in for whatever your jump key is. So if we're falling, if we press the jump key, then what do we want to do is be able to jump. However, if we just use the uh, simulate action platform, I'll just show you it's not going to work. So if we just say that, I mean, if you look at that, logically, it, it, it would appear that that would be enough to make it work, but it's not going to make it work because when we're falling, the way the behavior is set up is we're not able to jump. So jumping is not going to work for us. So what we need to do is change that from simulate jump to set Y vector. And the Y vector is going to be equal to the jump strength, so it's consistent. However, because we're moving up the screen, it needs to be negative jump strength. Otherwise, it's going to push us a Y vector downwards. So now we can set Y vector to negative jump strength, which is 450. So our Y vector will be equal to the jump height that we have already. So now I can jump, but also if I'm falling, I can now bounce in midair. But that's not what we want either, because now, I mean, if you had a jetpack or pair of springs or whatever, I don't know, if you wanted, if you wanted just continuous jumping, then that would be fine for you. But that's not what we want. I mean, technically, it still does work, but it's not what we want. So we need to add a condition to this. So we only want this to be able to play if we're able to do the coyote jump. And that's where this Boolean variable comes in. So push C on the keyboard, go to system. Is Boolean set? Is coyote set? So we're only going to want to be able to do this jump if it's not set because we default it to false, which means that we're not currently doing our coyote jump. So if we're not currently doing one, then we can do one. But as soon as we've done it, we need to set that Boolean true so we can't continuously do it. So now what we've got going on is if we do it once, we can't do it again. So we need to reset it. So let's reset it by adding an event and saying player and saying on landed. So when we touch the floor, we can now set this coyote jump back to false. Oh, it says toggle. We don't want toggle. We want set. Set it true and then set it false again. So now when we play, we can jump and we can do a coyote jump. And then when we hit the floor, we can do it again. But 
it still allows us to do it anywhere we want to, which is not what we want. So I've gone ahead and put in this text box at the top here. I've just called it debug. There's nothing special about it. So let's go in and add an event and say every tick. Let's set that debug text to the global variable previous action. At the moment, that's going to be just be blank because we haven't told it to put anything in there. So let's now add another event and we're going to say player. And we're going to say is jumping. And I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to say is on floor. Now, if the player character is jumping, I want to set that global variable of previous action to jumping. I'm going to copy that down and I'm going to set this one to floor. So now it's always just going to tell us whether we're jumping or whether we're on the floor. And that's all we really need to know because I don't want the coyote jump to be able to perform if we're not, if our previous action is anything but on floor. So if we're on the floor, I want to be able to do that coyote jump, otherwise I don't want the code to run. Before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my YouTube channel members and Patreon subscribers, Fusel CC, Zan, Retro Galaxy, Fan Van, Jet Simon, Olivia Bernier, Amara Lewis, Enmark Games, Seth Coble, Matt, Tor Alexanderson, Rob, Jared Demont, Lighting Cat, Martin K, 60 Plus Game Dev, Yanni Boy, Ty Days, and Luna Harless. Thanks for supporting the game dev journey and for more information about what's on offer in the Patreon, there's a link in the description. So all we need to do to make that work is add a, th uh, a second condition to this on up uh, on up arrow press, on jump key press. We push C on the keyboard and we say system and we say compare variable and we compare the previous action and we say is equal to on the floor. So now what this reads is if we're falling, if we press jump and we're not currently doing coyote time and we've previously been on the floor, which means that we haven't previously jumped, then we can apply that Y vector. And that is enough to make a coyote jump. And it means I can't do it here. I can't do it as a double jump. I can't do it if I previously jumped. I can only do it if I've previously been on the floor and if I've just fallen off the block. There we go. And that's how we do a coyote jump. The only thing you could add here is a timer because at the moment we could coyote jump from there, which may be what you want because it's effectively still falling. It just depends on how long you want to be able to allow the player to do that. Um, but again, I'll leave that up to you. You can add that in if you want to, but that works perfectly fine for me. Thanks for watching. And if you found the video useful, then please do consider giving the video a thumbs up. It does help get the video out to more people and uh, it does help support the channel. And if you've got a suggestion for a game mechanic tutorial, then click the link in the description, join the discord. And there's a channel on there where you can leave your suggestions. And uh, if I can do it, I'll do it and I'll make a video and I'll post it out on the YouTube channel for you. So thanks for watching again and take care and I'll see you in the next one.